Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is a new series. This is not going to be a super long series or anything crazy like that, and this isn't replacing No Man's Land. No Man's Land will continue in the background, uh, but this is a new series indeed. This is my pig series. So the concept of this series is we can only make money by selling pigs or their products. So that is it. We can't sell crops, we can't sell anything else. We can only make money doing that. Obviously we can produce all the other things. We just can't sell them for money. We have to give them to our pigs and hopefully make money off our pigs. What do we start with? Well, we start with this lovely rig here, which does not hold anything. Uh, it doesn't have like a capacity. This isn't, I mean, you can put stuff in it, obviously like pallets and stuff, but no capacity and a uh, nice plate right there. The farmer cop pig one. But uh, this thing has 100 hours on it and is damaged. We could theoretically sell it for probably like, eh, probably like $26,000, $27,000. So we could get a little bit of money. We do have $500 in the bank. Um, however, we do also have a $500,000 loan. So you can ignore all this that I did. I just adjusted it from the base game stuff to get it where I wanted it. Um, we have nothing. We have no land, no factories. We, can, we can't even do contracts because... We can't make money other than pigs. We can't do contracts, so that's the way it is. Um, I have economic, I'm gonna actually lower that down. We have economic difficulty and normal. Um, seasons are on, so it's gonna be really rough. Um, crop destruction's off, periodic plowing is on, but I left these all off to make our lives a little bit easier. So we have to fertilize and do some plowing every so often. Um, so that is that. Uh, but yes, I have a lot of mods installed. I'm not going to go through all those, but I will tell you what map we are on. We are on Blackwater Bottom, which is a map by Matt and the Shanty Boys Map Creations. Um, I've wanted to do a series on one of their maps for a long time, and this seemed like the perfect time. So we do need to buy some land, hopefully get some pigs rocking and rolling here, and get some stuff to feed them, which we might just have to start off by buying pig food. But we got to start getting some sort of way to get money in the bank, so we have to pay back that loan, and we have to go from there. I don't really have a specific goal other than we need to make a successful pig farm. That's our goal on here. Uh, but I do want to say I do have a sponsor for this video. So I'm going to put that that uh, that sponsor on here just a second. Um, big thank you to them. It's uh, SNHU or Southern New Hampshire University. Uh, if your eyes aren't interested, you guys can always skip a couple minutes after the, the ad starts. You don't have to worry about it. But here we go. Hey everyone, Farmer Cop here. As you know, it is very rare for me to do a sponsor ad or a sponsor video, and that is because I only advertise products or companies that I actually believe in, and that is why I want to take a minute and tell you about Southern New Hampshire University, or SNHU, who has graciously offered to sponsor this video. Most of you are here watching my channel because, like me, one of your favorite games, if not your favorite game, is Farming Simulator. You love the ability to drive authentic equipment in-game, to grow your farm, and the ability that Farm Sim offers you to play the game any way you like. Think if you had that know-how and education to create games like FarmSim, or to have the knowledge to be able to work for companies that make games like the ones you love to play every day. SNHU offers an amazing and completely online game development program that will teach you everything you need to know. The program covers 2D and 3D modeling, texturing, game physics, and will help you be able to create dynamic and challenging experiences for game players using game AI. The program will teach you how to create flawless user experiences for players as well as how to use major computer programming languages such as C++, C Sharp, and Java. And you'll be taught by people with real world experience. And after you graduate, SNHU has career services to help prepare you for the job market. SNHU is an accredited online and nonprofit university which allows them to offer you a very affordable tuition rate so you can obtain a degree without it costing you a fortune or you having to go really far into debt. You may even be eligible for financial aid, and if you have past college credits, they may be able to apply those to your current degree or your new degree. It was even voted to be one of the country's most innovative universities by US News & World Report. I have a college degree personally, and it has helped me in my success in my career, and I think that having one will help you too. I truly do believe that education is important, and that is why I agreed to be sponsored by SNHU. Go to snhu.edu slash farmercop to find out if you are eligible for the game developer program or any other great program SNHU may offer. You can find that link below in the description of the video, and every time you use that link, it helps support the Farmer Cop channel, so take a look and see if you can take this opportunity. Okay, so anyhow, a big thank you to SNHU for sponsoring this video. Um, it does help the channel out if you just click that link and then sign up just to get some information from them and get them to send you some stuff. It doesn't cost you anything, they'll send you some stuff, and as soon as you have them uh, send you some information just about the degree, that's what helps go ahead and uh, support the channel, so please do that. That does help out a lot. I appreciate it. But 
Anyhow, back to the series. So first things first, we've got to get a hold of some land. Um, now, I love this map, and I love this chunk of land right here. It's 175, and we're not going to buy the those chunks. So all the fields are kind of separated out. So this is a really good place over here. I can't remember. There's some other things on these little chunks of land here, so we might drive out there. But I think, I think to start, this is where I want to kind of build... Oh, I don't know. Let's go drive around. Let's go drive around. Let's do a little bit of exploring because we... I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way. Yes. And then I want to take a left here uh, because we could theoretically buy... I, I don't know what's on this chunk of land. That's only 30 grand. We also have field 54. So I might drive around to see what's on these guys here um, just to kind of see what would be a good place. I do eventually want to have a pig farm on that chunk of land, but I think if we can start off a little cheaper... I think that'll help us um, help us out quite a bit. So I'm just going to knock that stop sign over. Don't worry about it. Uh, so the oil mill here, which doesn't matter to us, and the BGA, it looks like, which doesn't matter to us because we can't use it. Uh, but this back here, so there's definitely some space back here. Um, we can buy that little chunk of land right there. And I think, so what I actually may end up doing is just purchasing this off camera so we can have, like, we can connect and do some different stuff there. But we just won't really use any of that land um, other than just a little bit there. But yeah, we could buy that chunk there and we could buy this chunk here. This is a nice chunk. And then I believe, yep, this whole area here, we don't need that. So we can buy this. Oh, nope, don't want to do that yet, which is around the bowling alley here. And we can kind of work around that. Now, they're probably not going to be too happy. We're starting a pig farm over here. So maybe right this chunk might be best. How much is that one? 22,000. Yeah, you know what? Let's start with that. I think that'll be a good, this will be a good start piece for us. Now, let's take a look. I have I have pretty much every pig barn I could find on the Mod Hub installed. Um, we don't need anything too crazy to start. That one's 30 pigs. Oh, and they do take some of the new root crops. I did not know that. That's kind of nice. I do have premium installed, which is great. Uh, that one only holds 25 pigs. I do like the idea that it uh, has garages on it. Um, that one, barn with... Uh, Pigsty and cow barn, it says, but I don't, we don't, I don't want to risk having a cow barn as well. That holds 300 pigs. That's pretty good there. This is a very small pig pasture, only 10 pigs. That's not a bad way to get us started out. Oh, this one's even better. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, obviously, but 60 grand, that's not too bad in size. That one holds, I thought that was 50,000 pigs. I was like, good Lord, now 450 pigs. That'd be a really good one as well. Man, um, that holds a thousand. That's ridiculous. Old pig side, a little 60. That one only rotates that way. That's fine though. Is there anything like crazy cheap in here? That's a hundred pigs in that one. That's not bad. I still really like the look of this just for kind of starting out. So you might get like maybe two of those. Well, maybe we'll just get one to start, but. Um, I think I really like that concept and that kind of idea. Uh, 400 pigs in that guy. But how can I not buy something that's going to hold way more pigs to start off with? Especially for that price right there. Yeah, and the barn, honestly, will be a little bit better. Our neighbors will probably appreciate that um, if we don't have that issue. Um, I'm going to leave those trees up. I actually kind of like those trees there. But yeah, I think if we just put... We just put this guy like right in here. I think we do that. That'll be our first pig barn. Um, now, we don't have an animal trailer right now. I'd like to get something that this guy can maybe pull because we don't have any equipment or anything like that. We need to build up some stuff. Yeah, so pigs. Okay, obviously we're gonna get them at their youngest. I don't think it matters what type we go for. So we might just go with the German landers to start. Uh, but yes, yeah, so it's thirty dollars to deliver them. I don't want to have to pay to deliver them. Um, the food is going to be the issue, which we might just have to buy pig food. That might just be what we have to do. Which, if we take a look in here, there should be some options for pig food. That's nine hundred dollars, thousand liters. I don't know if we're going to make any money. That's six hundred for six hundred. Is that one more? That's more expensive than that one per liter. That is. Uh, rabbit food. We don't need that. Um, are there any pallets that are better options for us? Vegetable. That's just an empty pallet. I'll say a pallet of vegetables would be nice. Let's 
Key treatment stuff. No. Okay. Um, nothing in there. And big bags. How much are those? I think they're more expensive for. Yeah, a thousand for a thousand. See, I will want to buy those other big. That's just the way we have to do it. I think. Um. Yep. That's just how we're gonna have to do it. So. That is that. Did this open up. No. Okay. I was just curious. Okay. So we can get some pigs. Let's get ourselves a animal transport trailer, hopefully. Um, something that's going to do 13 pigs for 25,000 is not too bad. Um, this is 17 pigs is not bad. I don't know if our little truck is going to pull that, though, is the problem. These are all 17 pigs. Why is this one... Why is that? Oh, it's just less axles. Okay, that's why that one's a little bit different. Um, we could go with that. I think this is gonna be a little too big for us um, to do, but 17 pigs at a time. This one does 26 pigs at a time. I don't know if we can pull that one though. This one does 13 pigs at a time. Maybe we, just to start, cause I do have lease to own. That's 60 grand though. That's gonna be a little much I think for us, even though that's a little bit more pigs. Let's go ahead and just lease this guy. I don't like that color whatsoever. I don't like that. Whatever I just did there was worse somehow. Um, maybe just like a silver and then back to sure. And then no, I don't want green rims. Just regular is fine for that. Uh, this one can be changed. Yeah, that'll work. That's a nice little pig hauler. And I've, again, I've, I hate that I pay for all that. Let's just hope that that fits on our truck. So we're not too far from the store. I do want to do some landscaping. I want our stuff to look nice as we use it. The worst case scenario, we just threw a thousand dollars away um, if it doesn't work out. So let's drive up over to the shop and see if that we can get this going. And I think I'll probably do like 20 to 30 minute episodes. I think that's about the uh, length of time I'm going to shoot for. Um, yeah, that's going to be about the length of time I shoot for. And then I'm probably going to do about and episodes, I think, is what I'm going to also shoot for. But let's see here. Okay. Please hook up. Oh, thank goodness. Look at that. Oh, we needed that. That's a win for us right there. And that doesn't look too crazy for that truck to be pulling that. So that's good. Okay. We have that. Um, while we're here at the store, let's go ahead and... Well, you know what I'll do off camera... I'm gonna go get our first load of pigs and I'm gonna put some pig feed in the back of this. So I'm gonna get all that done and then I'll bring you guys back in over at the farm and we'll get some landscaping done and start getting our first pigs rocking and rolling. All right, so I have the pigs loaded up in there, which is great. However, I decided instead of using a super strength to just move stuff around as needed, we are going to actually do a front loader setup. So we're gonna look for the cheapest possible front loader setup. Um, does it show up down there if it has a front loader option? I cannot remember. Uh, combinations? That's not helpful at all. Um, I couldn't remember. No. So in here we can see it. Uh, that's not a... I do like the farm all. Um... I do have some modded stuff in here though, and I should have organized it by that too. Let's get back to the modded stuff because there's some nice ones in the modded stuff. What a pack's me too expensive. These guys would be great too. I really like these guys. Do one of these have a front loader attachment? Not for that one. What about for this one? Catcher front loader. Yes. Okay, so we might go with that guy. Oh, that one's. That's 145, 150. Never mind, that's a better deal. Um, yeah, so maybe does this one have front attachment, front hydraulics? No, there's no front loader. Okay. So we might have to go with that guy right there. That has 145, that has 145 as well. Yeah, I really like this. Let's do a front loader for this. Eh, I don't need to pay hundred dollars for beacons. No, we don't need probably Let's do no beacon no probably don't need that uh catcher's front weight front linkage 
we'll put the weight carrier on there. We don't need anything right now. Front loader. Yeah. Is it just stole? Yeah, we'll just, oh no. Let's do stole. We don't need GPS, I don't think. I'm going to leave everything else standard. Uh, wheel weights would be great because we have the front loader on there. Air filter standard, we're going to do that. And then we can get the bigger engine is a little bit more, but that'll be worth it. Okay, let's go ahead and we're just going to flat out buy this bad boy. Um, which actually, the other thing too. Uh, well, first, let's go get a front loader for that guy. Okay, front loader tool. Yeah, there we are. Okay, so... Actually, we need to get the actual front loader first, don't we? Um, I don't think there's any... Well, there's a modded case one. I don't think that one's going to work for what we got, but... Um, 60, 80, 100, 120. We feared I could go up to that one. Let's try to do like this one, I think, will be... See that? Can we do face as well? Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we're going to lease that to start to make sure it... it bits um and then front loader tools there i want to get something that makes this easy so i want i think the csc pack has a big bag lifter of sorts that should make my life really easy yes this is what we want yes i uh, will buy that okay pop right in there oh yeah that front loader attachment should work just fine I even could have gone. Oh, I have. I hate that setting. Let's go in here. Um, there we go. Yep. Okay, perfect. That's what I wanted. Yep, that's perfect size for this guy. And it works. And now we can load these guys up, which I'm actually going to first hit that sign, obviously. But I'm going to knock this guy just a little bit back again. I can attach it. What? I had no idea. Oh, wow. Does it also have the tension straps? It does. Okay. Let's get... Uh, I don't know what I just did there. That somehow made things a lot worse. Okay. We're, we're going to use super strength for half a second here. <laughs> just to get... I didn't know that was... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, disconnect that. I want to actually just, oh, I got to let it get off of there first. I see what's going on. Okay, well, this one. Is it, oh, it's that, there we go. I actually had it connected still, that checks out. What we should be able to do, if I don't do it that way, is I should be able to lift them up like this, which is what I should have originally done. Perfect, and we'll just, oh wow, those are heavier than I thought. Okay, what we are gonna do, because not being able to do two at a time is gonna kill me, let us, see this is just a train wreck. It's just a normal, just your standard farmer cop train wreck. Um, nothing, wow, I've just, I would, we had a crash counter right now, it'd be through the roof. Okay, that's purchase. Well, first off, let's go to our leased items, because I do wanna just buy these guys right out. That's purchase. And then we go into here. That's purchase. Okay, so we own everything that we have right now. Uh, we're definitely down a little bit on cash, but that's not a big deal yet. Uh, weights. Let's get a nice big old weight. I don't need something, I guess. That's probably a little too ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to... How much is that one? Let's try the one ton. Let's lease that, and that should be enough weight for us. Of course, it's right there. Right amongst stupid traffic. We're trying to load things. Okay, I'm going to cheat one more time. Just one more time here. No one look. Obviously, I have... Oops, nope. I want to attach that weight. What was it backwards? That's my fault. That's my bad. Nothing to see here. Aaron Duel, nothing to see. Perfect. Okay. Now... Now we're about to lift some stuff. Two of them is still very heavy. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. That is like 
shouldn't be that much weight for us, I feel like. Okay, let's just uh, drop those off there. Eventually we'll get a trailer and this will be much easier to move stuff around. Nope, that missed that one completely. Let's try this. Let's get one this time. And it shouldn't matter how they're on there for now. It may be a little bit difficult to get off, but we'll see how that goes here shortly. I wanted to get both of you. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to just easy does it here. Turn around. Put you on the back of the truck. Okay. There we go. It's like nothing happened. I'm going to leave this here. Leave my failure there. We're going to back up to the trailer. Let's go get our pig farm rocking and rolling to start here. Oh boy. And then I actually can strap those guys down, which would probably be a good idea. I'm going to hit that tractor. Definitely. Gosh dang it. Just the worst. Okay. Now, let's take this to... Actually, we can go this way to our pig farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go this way. And then we can take a... So we take a left right here. Probably be best. There it is right there. Okay. So let's do a little bit of landscaping. So again, I said I wanted this to look nice and I want that to be the case. Dirt, is that what we got going on there? Okay, perfect. Um, I do prefer gravel. Um, let's do kind of a, let's see, I want, so I probably need to buy that land there so I can get that squared away. go okay and then probably some gravel out here because this is kind of like the work area and we probably just want to make this just just a little bit wider okay because we don't really need grass i'm actually going to build at least for that portion of it all the way up with gravel okay so pigs going down here which let's just try that And I'm hoping these big bags unload into there without me having to do anything too crazy. Oh, we can't open that cover. I thought we could. There's a little symbol back there, which I think is for opening the cover. All right. Not quite. There we go. Select. Move to husbandry. Yes. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you will not believe it, but... Like 20 some odd minutes into this episode, we now have pigs. Finally. Uh, let me drop this off right there. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what this little symbol is right here. Oh, no, that's, that might even change the color. Oh, that's nifty. I like the blue a little bit better. Oh, and in case you're wondering why I chose pigs, why did I want to do a pig only series? It's because, well, that is a slang term for law enforcement, if you didn't know that. And I am a police officer, as most of you guys know. And yes, the pig food's unloading in there. Thank goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what a miracle. Thank goodness. I just got to get that one a little bit closer. Perfect. All right. How are our pigs doing? Okay. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Um, <laughs> well, they want straw, too. So we could probably get some straw for them. I don't think the straw affects their health. I think it just means we're not going to get any solid manure. We're just going to get slurry. So actually, we probably won't worry about that too much. All right, we have 5,000 liters of food in there. That actually should be enough to get these guys rocking and rolling for a little bit. But I can go pick up more food. Uh, so what I'm going to do off camera, I'm going to purchase the main part of the land and try to fix this landscaping here a little bit, which I think if I purchase that all, all that peripheral land, that'll work. Um, I'm going to go pick us up 
another load of pigs, I think, is what we're going to do. And then I'm going to uh, also pick up the rest of that food and bring it over here and put it in there. So I think two loads of pigs to start today will be good, and we'll see how that works with the uh, big bags of food. I also have a lot of different uh, mods installed of, like, pig feed mixers and stuff like that, so we can do that. And we honestly could do a little farming right here. We don't need... We're just going to have this one pig food area for now, so we could put a field in there. We now have a tractor, so uh, that'll probably be kind of what we're going to look into next episode. But I'm going to grab some more pig food and some more pigs, and I will see you guys shortly. Okay, I've delivered the last three bags of food and their load of pigs, and... Let's go ahead and take a look at how we are doing. 8,000 feed, and we have 34 pigs worth 40 bucks a piece, which we paid more than that for them for sure. We paid 200 bucks each for them. But anyhow, they'll jump up in value pretty quick. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of concept for a series, and I hope you guys will like it. Uh, but that is the end of our first episode. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.